Hello. So we are back, yeah, same Monday morning. We just finished the HP with the Wi-Fi. And let's start our TV. The problem with the TV is I can do video only on the with the small TVs. Because obviously the big ones I, I can't fix them on uh, on my desk, yeah. So we have a TV here. And it's not working. Never heard about this brand. Bound. Full HD 21.5 inch. Model B-1215 FDV. I don't know. Looks like a any TV. 12 volts. You can see the connector. 12 volts. So let's see what can be wrong here. Let's see what it's doing first, yeah? Let's try... I have the power supply in the remote, but let's try and power up by the power supply. Because we can see, actually, if the current is going inside or not. Yeah, 12 volts. We can't see the voltage, only the amps. Well, let's see, ground. Can you use any ground? Plus. It's taking no power. Now where is the power button? Nothing. Ground? Yeah. If I connect the ground, it's getting short. It does mean the ground is connected. Plus. And nothing. Has another button somewhere? No. So one more time. Plus. Now the plus is connected. Power. You can't see me pressing power here. Ah, oh, sorry, was short. Power, nothing, yeah? It's clicking, but nothing. Let's have a look. What can be wrong here? Many people, they are using uh, these kind of TVs on the car. Because it's 12 volts one. Lorry drivers, you know, like, uh, you know, the REV cars, vehicles, RV, RV, rec recreational uh, vehicle, yeah. And not only, not only. How hard can be this to be fixed? What can be here? We looks like we have a power supply problem. Not power supply, but actually my 12 volts are not getting on the board. Can be a fuse. Yeah, it can be. Can be. But it's stupid, you know, to put a fuse and put a fuse inside of the TV, you know? How can I know if it's a fuse if it's not outside? To access the fuse from outside. It's kind of stupid, you know? On the old electronics, they always put a fuse outside. But now everything is inside. And actually, a normal people they cannot access the fuse and replace the fuse. It's kind of stupid thinking, you know. They they took this from people. They took this. You no, know, like anyone, like that doesn't have any knowledge, you know. But they can check a fuse, you know. Just take the fuse, look on the light, see if it's burned or not. Easy. Uh, 
Okay. We have a few more screws. Okay, we have two more screws here. Actually, everything in these days, yeah, they are trying to make the things like more complicated, like. Uh, let's get a phone, let's, let's get the iPhone, yeah? So replacing a charging port, it's a specialized job. You know, it becomes, it became something, you know, it's a charging port, you know? That, that, that's sick, you know, you have five volts there only, plus and minus, and you make a big thing from a, you know, a simple, it's a charging port. Like on this one, it's a fuse, you know, just put a fuse outside. Okay, let's try and open this. Here, plastic clips. I probably can't see, sorry. Okay. And if we get open like that, I'll try to get the screen out first. We don't need the screen. Okay. So we have a board. The charging port looks soldered on the place. Let's take the board out. Okay, that's the board, that's the charging board, and we do have a fuse, you see that thing hit there? Yeah, this one. You see that black thing? That's a fuse. They cover the fuse on plastic, I'll check the fuse, f fuse first, yeah? Multimeter, where is the multimeter? Oh, sorry, diode mode. And the fuse is burned. You can see it's nothing there. It should be like that, yeah? Check the fuse, it's burned. Now, one, uh, one problem before replacing the fuse. The question is why the fuse is burned? Yeah, so there are the fuse pins from there, there. What I will do, I will come with 12 volts after the fuse, yeah? Ground. So this is the input of the fuse here, and obviously it's nothing. And this is the output. Output of the fuse here. Output of the fuse short. And the short... Oh, it's not short anymore. Okay. That's sick. It was short, it's not anymore. How this is... Okay.
It's a burning smell. But I can't see anything. Let's switch onto the microscope and check together. It's a burning like like semiconductor burn. Like a diode, like a transistor, like a chip, something like that. And should should be something around the power supply. Hopefully it's not that cheap. Uh, hopefully. I'm so stupid you I, I should try with less with less amps. Because now whatever was burned got burned completely. Yeah, that was stupid what I just did because I lost any chance to find a problem like quickly. Oh, it's still short. Okay, I'll lower the amps. Yeah, so now it's 1.4 amps and something should get hot. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, Yes, uh, I need a ground. Yeah, this, no, this. Yeah, the USB port is a good ground. Oh, I can't see, sorry. And we have a short here 1.4 amps. Let's see what is getting hot. It's not the chip, that's good. But it's still smelling. I swear it's a transistor. This smell. Smoke? No smoke. Transistor or diode? Yeah, it's smoke. I've seen smoke. <sighs> diode. That's a diode smell. Uh, after the fuse, yeah? After the fuse. Ah, uh, no, don't tell me it's a chip. Ah, oh, I just burned my finger. It is a chip, yeah? Let's have a look together. Most likely a power supply. Uh, this one. I was wrong. I was thinking it's a diode. It's not. Yeah, that one. AD0QG. I don't know what's that. Sorry, you can see? Okay. Let's use some petrol. Probably this is a power supply because it's connected to 12 volts and has a coil next to it. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, let me bring this on focus. Okay. What we are doing now, let's put the 12 volts. Uh, look at the chip it's everything got evaporated yeah one more time yeah let's come with 12 volts yeah 12 volts fire you see so that's the problem that chip and you will say, no, sorry, it's, this is simple, man. It's Wow, you're so lucky, it's just a chip. No, this this, this is actually, this is the worst case. Because you have no idea what chip is. AD, 
QG. You have no idea what cheap is. And uh, yeah, you have to fix it, but you can't charge too much because it's a small TV, 20 inch t uh, TV. So what we can do to fix this? Hmm? Okay. The first step is to find out what power supply is this. Yeah? That's the first step. Uh, do you think the output is shorted and that's the reason why the chip is... Uh, why the chip is, uh, is getting hot? Probably not. Let's take the multimeter. Yeah. And let's find out together what that chip is doing. So this chip is driving this coil here. Yeah? yeah, zero, okay. The output of this coil, let's see, have anything to do with this diode? Yeah, it's going to this diode, have anything to do with the ground? Yeah, it's short to ground. So the output of this chip is short to ground. It's shorter to ground. So I was nearly, you know, to swear that chip is gone. Well, I'm, not I'm not sure now if it's gone or not. So this chip is driving by that pin, yeah? So it's driving here. Or maybe, maybe the chip is gone. Yeah, maybe. So maybe the 12 volts is coming from the... Oh, I'm not sure. I have no idea now. The coil is connected to this pin, yeah? I don't know if the 12 volts is coming from the other side of the coil, or it's coming from the different pin on the chip. If I check this diode, I'm sure it's shorted for some reason. Yeah, it is short. Nearly short. So what's going on here? Which is shorter? The diode? The chip? Another thing from the 12 volts power rail? I don't know. But you know what I'll do? Probably the chip is gone. Looks like it's exploded. Um, I'll take out the chip and I'll check again, yeah? Or I shall take out the coil, but it's more easy to take out the chip. More easy. Yeah, let's say 400. Yeah, 400 degrees. Tweezer, I need a tweezer. I found it. Okay, the chip is out. Just be careful on the chip position. Yeah, that's the chip position. Let's put the chip safe. And let's see now what kind of short do we have. Ground, yes, I'm connected to the ground. And let's see. On this pin, we still have short, yeah? So this is the coil, yeah? So actually we have a short on this side of the coil. But you can't see. So here we have a short. Here. You can see on the multi... No, it's not short. Oh, because that drive... Okay, that pin is not driving the coil. Okay, that's crazy. Okay. So I've been wrong. This pin is driving. This is ground. That's ground. Let's find out the plus. So I'll put the... After the fuse, I'll put one probe. After the fuse, because the fuse is burned. Now let's see which pin... 
this one, this is plus 12. The coil is to plus 12? It's not. Okay, that's crazy. So the plus is coming here. Yeah. The plus is coming here, so the chip is burned and is closing the circuit here with this pin to the ground. Yeah? So here is my short. But I don't understand what the coil have to do here. Probably nothing. So this is plus and plus is coming. This is plus, this is ground. What about the coil? Where the coil has to go? Let's see here, nothing. Here, nothing. Nothing here, nothing. Nothing. So that chip just was shorted and was shorting everything. The coil had nothing have nothing to do. Or maybe it was here, nothing. Let's try like that. Yeah. So that that coil is just uh, it's just because it's here. I have have different driver. Probably this chip from here is the driver of that coil. You see this chip, this one. Probably this chip. Well, I don't know. Let's check this diode. But well, the diode is still shorted. This diode. Uh. So that's the thing, you have to understand the schematic before uh, before jumping on some conclusion. This pin is going somewhere, you know, I'm curious about this pin, what this pin is doing, where is going? Okay, uh, no, 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 the other one is ground, this is not ground, probably this, let's see with the coil. Yeah, this is going to the coil, yeah. So the sec, this pin is going to the coil, this is ground, and this is plus. And the chip is meant to switch this pin to switch the ground because to the plus and ground because this is a switching power supply probably okay so if the coil is connected here yeah yeah it's here connected the other side of the coil is the output yeah the other side of the coil is the output and actually the output are on these capacitors and the output is not short at the ground, yeah? It's not? It's not. Yeah? So, okay, that chip is dead. But what power supply is this? That's my question. It's going to this one. Let's see where it's going. Because we have to find the voltage. So we, we found the, actually, the chip is dead. The output is not shorted. And they have to find what value has that power supply. What kind of voltage it's outputting. So that's the output. Let's see where it's going. Yeah, we have near. We have a capacitor for 70 micro, 16 volts. I should use the beeping multimeter. It's more easy when you hear the beep. So this is going. It's going here, and this is a voltage regulator, this and this. Okay. Where is going more? Uh, let's see, on the main... Uh, we should have a main 12 volts. 12 volts, we have... I can't see. On this board I have a 
is saying 12 volts. Let's check after the fuse. It's not. So probably from this output. No. From this, no. So from where I have 12 volts there. From the diode output, no. From this transistor, or MOSFET, or whatever it is, no. Hmm. Okay, we do have some uh, five. I volts VCC here Okay, let's let's check here you have any connection nothing nothing okay here here we have no Nothing. Nothing. What about here? Nothing. Okay, so it's not. Uh, it's not going here. For what this voltage is used? Hmm? Let's see screens. Can be three point three volts power supply. Can be. It's not. Okay, five volts. Let's see five volts with the USB port. USB port. No. But which is the 5 volt uh, power supply of the USB, huh? Because I will be glad to know. Let's see. We have some test point twelve volts, three point three five volts. Okay, let's see this one. So five. Yeah, and it's going to five. This is a five volts power supply. From the simple reason, yeah. 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 Yes. So here we have some test points. Uh, this one, 5 volts, VCC 3.3 is that jumper from the other side, this jumper, which is connected to 5, yeah this one, it's connected to 5, 5 volts and it's beeping with my coil, yeah, so that's a 5 volts power supply, that's, we clear that, yeah. We need a 5 volts regulator. Let's see how much power is taking on 5 volts. Uh, and probably from the 5 is making 3.3 .3 and so on. Yeah. Ground plus. On the 5 volts, it's taking like 20 milliamps. Let's press the power button. And we have red light, look there. You can see here, here is red light. Power. Obviously nothing happened because we don't have 12 volts. Okay, what I will do, what I will try, yeah. 
I'll try a trick because that chip is gone anyway. Yeah. I'll try a trick. If I have that, if I, if I have a chip, we need a five volts regulator. Remember, I had before some small five volt chips regulators. We probably are not here anymore. Nah. Give me one second. Okay, let me have a look on the on the, um, we have some TV boards here. Let's see what we can find. This is a TV board. Any chance I can find a chip like that? Probably not. Probably not. What's this? Okay, let's find. We need a 5 volts regulator, that's what we need. So I found a chip here. If I will have like a 7805, I'll use it, but I don't have. No, this is, uh, we can't use this, okay. Hmm. 
What about this? No. <clears throat> Okay, what we can do in this case? I do have some toys to play. Yeah. So that ship is no way how can I find it? That's something else. Looks the same, but it's not. Okay. We do have some toy here. I really recommend to anyone who wants to like modify the things. This is cheap. This is around 2.5 or 3 pounds on eBay. Yes, proper cheap. This this circuit is based on the LM2596 yeah DC to DC buck uh, converter adjustable yeah so actually with this one it's a switching power supply yeah who can supply any voltage and I think can supply around 2 3 amps something like that it's proper nice I haven't opened this one I will open now but you can use it and you can modify anything, yeah? Like you don't have, a, you have a, a non-working power supply, like, I don't know, on the laptop, on a TV, or whatever you have. It's so simple, yeah? Output, yeah? You can see output, input, and that's all. And you adjust the voltage. What do you want more, you know? This is a simple thing. Okay? So let's use this one. And also it's simple. It's simple, it's, it's, it's a switching power supply. Nothing can go wrong here, yeah? And it's cheap, like, three... I don't think it's three pounds. I think I pay, like, 2.5, yeah? 2.5 uh, pounds for this kind of... Or you can buy even the cheap, even less of, of two pound. So what do we need now? We need some wires. And I swear I have no wires here. And we can, uh, yeah, we can do it. Hmm. It's Monday. I'm kind of lazy today. Because it's Monday, obviously. Yeah. So I think the, the ground is the same, yeah? Let's check. Input and output. Output minus. Input minus. Yeah, so we need only three wires actually, yeah? And I found three wires. And because it's a switching power supply, actually it's 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 extremely efficient. So it will be no heat. And Diana is arguing with some customer on the phone. <laughs> that's sick. That's sick. That's crazy. I will tell you one second. So the customer, uh, um, one of the colleagues is working Sunday. Okay, let's see. Many time, yeah.
it's an iPhone 7. We replace the screen, yeah? And uh, he come back. Obviously, we no receipt. We fix it. I fix it here. It's warranty. It's no sound. And then I open the phone, check. And um, it's no work on the board. You know? It's And I, we called back. And then I called back. I said, look, it's a... Uh, what what kind of warranty? You know, it's we didn't work on this one. Oh yeah, but you replace the screen and you give me three months warranty. Yeah, but that's kind of quite a different story, you know. Yeah, customer are funny. When you give them warranty, they think they have warranty for everything, you know. Oh, you fix it. Should be a warranty. Yeah, we fix the screen. We have even people buying phones from here. They drop the phone, they crack the screen, especially Samsung phones, and they come back and say, no, it's warranty. And explain them, you know, it's 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 damage. You drop it, that's that's why the screen is cracked. Yeah, but it's warranty, you should fix it. That's sick. And you, when you tell them, you know, it's you can't buy a phone, go outside, drop it, and come back and tell me it's warranty. And they start being funny, like, okay, but what warranty is covered? You know, this this is a warranty, the phone is broken, you should fix it. Funny people, funny people. Some people part this is it's like they are living on, uh, and you know, doesn't matter if I will drop it. I have warranty. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. Okay, so I will use. I'll use the words in this way, yeah? One second. So we have the output. Ground. And input. Will be red. Will be input. Black is ground, like usual. And yellow is the output. Okay, so let's find out the output, and we can we have to adjust it before, yeah. Five volts. I will switch to twelve volts. Twelve volts. Input is uh, ground, yeah. Yeah, that's ground. Okay, let me solder the input. Yeah, that's, that's ground, so that's ground and we have plus from the power supply which is the red, I said is the red one hey 10 milliamps, great, let's check the output and that's the output and we have the same, we have a ground thing uh, how can I keep all the wires? This is plus. Okay, I will keep like that. This is the input, output. And now the power supply is set up on... Oh, sorry, that's DC. It's, it's diode, sorry. Okay, now. Input. And the output is 
11 volts, that's not good. If I have same output, let me adjust the the finger. Let's see now. Same. Okay. Let's see now. Okay, maybe she'll be on the other side, yeah? Let's go on the other side. I don't know, that thing is funny, the adjustable thing. Yeah. Same thing. Okay, I don't think this is working. The adjustable thing. This one. Because I can't see any adjustment. No, it should not be a load. You know, you don't need a load. This is a switching control power supply, so we don't need a load. But for some reason. Actually, I don't think this is adjusting anything. Minus. Plus. And now we don't even have light, but that's good. That means it's, it's, it's adjusting. One second, yeah? That's input, yeah? yeah. Oh yeah, it is adjusting, you see the... I can see on the... On the LED, yeah, let's check. We have ground, let's see the output 3.3. You can see the output, the voltmeter, that's good. Yeah, one second. Oh, one second, give me one second. Okay, let's solder the wires, yeah, there's no point to, we can adjust the power supply after, yeah, don't worry, let's see, so what do we have here, yeah, we have that chip, yeah, that chip place, let's solder the wires, and we are good.
And the thing is, you can use this kind of modification or anything to replace like a power supply, which you can't fix it. Yeah. So we have ground. Yeah. Ground. I can have ground from anywhere, not only from here. You know what? There's no space here. I'll use the ground from there. Yeah, this is ground. That's ground, yeah. The yellow one is output. Is here. Okay, that's output, and the input is twelve volts, which should be. Here I set the third pin. I probably can't see. Sorry, I will show you after. Here, one second. Give me one second. And plus, it's on that capacitor, which you can't see it. I can't see it. No one can see it because it's here. Yeah. That's 12 volts. Hey. It's not a good position. Yeah, I have to replace this wire. Okay, let's do a good job here. That's plus twelve, yeah? Plus twelve volts. What I will do now, that's good. We really need to adjust that 5 volts. Power supply 12, that's good. We have 12. The output, yeah? Let's check the output. I have ground here. A screwdriver. Let me switch, sorry. And the uh, output. And the output on this moment. Oh, the ground is not connected. It is now. And the output is 1.4. Let's adjust this power supply. Up. Four point five five volts. We can adjust it like precisely. Precise 
5 volts that should be fine yeah 4.997 yeah you can see there so that's fine that's okay that's all that's all let's check if it's working Okay. Fuse, fuse. It's not stupid. It's not supposed to be that long. This job, but looks like. Uh, You know, just to just to see how we can uh, what we can use, you know, on a situation like that when you don't have the chip, yeah. And I'm sure if I look on it on Google, probably I'll not find that chip. A nice two amps fuse. Okay, that's all. How the board was here? Yeah, we'll isolate the board after. Yeah. Eventually, you can use some hot glue to fix the board there. Let's connect the screen. Yeah. Screen. And we have this connector. And I have this connector, which I don't remember. I think the connector was here. One second. Okay. And now we need 12 volts. Or we need the charger. Let's use the main charger, yeah? Okay, so that's the customer charger. And power. We have red light. We have blue light. I press the power button. And we have a picture. Yeah. Okay, you can see. Of course, everything is working fine. Yeah, like changing the things here, the channels. Power off. Yeah, we can power off. Uh, yeah, now it's off. Yeah. We can power on again. Yes. On again. Yeah, so everything is working fine. I will not keep you because this this is already long like one hour but that's the way how you manage to carry on you know doesn't matter that's not an excuse you don't have that part that's not an excuse you just carry on find the problem you find what power supply is there what you're supposed to do and you just uh, you just carry on with the repair because obviously it's easy to say I don't have the part, I don't have the schematic. 
you understand what I mean, yeah? Okay, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. I'll put all back together. I will uh, isolate the board. I'll put the board somewhere. Yeah? I'll finish the job. But it was just an idea. I can carry on if when you don't have don't have the part, yeah? So see you later, yeah? Bye.